Yeah, I think the, the logistics business has, has different drivers. It's not driven by population density, uh, apart from the distribution patterns of, of the tenants. It's more driven by the, the supply chain, so the, the location within the supply chain. And there you have the typical uh, being close to the Gothenburg Harbor. That's very hot because of all the intercontinental flows coming in through Gothenburg. Uh, Jönköping being in the middle of Sweden uh, gives optimal uh, uh, distribution costs for, for spreading the, uh, uh, the goods. So what we focus very much on is the relatability of the building. Even if we're long-term holders, we need, to, we need to find another tenant after 10 years. And, and we always place our buildings on the infrastructure where we can rely on a big demand. So it doesn't really... I mean, it, it's by coincidence, I would say. It's, of course, it's Stockholm, it's Gothenburg, it's Jönköping, but that is not because of the, 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 the population density. That is, that is how, the, uh, how the supply chain is, is being optimized. And uh, for foreign investors looking into Sweden and looking at you can have the most beautiful logistics uh, property in a B location. Of course, and you can have good rent levels, 10-year contract, but you need to figure out what happens after the 10 years. 10 years. If it's let out to a local manufacturer, looks great now, but, but you for sure you might lose a lot of your investment when you need to re-let it and then there's pressure on, uh, pressure on, on, uh, on the yields. If you look at, at Finland uh, f for investment purposes, I would say it's Helsinki. It's greater Helsinki area, it's up to the Ring Road 3. That's where, where, where you, you can do secure investments. Looking at Norway, it's south of Oslo, it's north of Oslo. So when you approach on the E6 uh, highway into Norway, uh, uh, there you find logistics uh, developments. And then up towards the airport in Gardermoen, that's, that's where you want to be. Uh, it's difficulty in the, in the more of the central locations in Oslo, very high uh, um, uh, land prices. Uh, and indeed, Denmark, of course, Copenhagen area, but also the, the triangle, the Odense, Aarhus, uh, Olboy area. And also down to Kyrgyz, in, in, uh, that's what, what I would see from our perspective. So there's a lot. But, uh, but again, it is very much about prime locations, be that boring or not. But that's where, where, you, where if you look at the risk involvement and you also see the, the gap on, on yields, it is very much about prime. And that's where the invest investments are done.